it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for September 2018 and Aquarius whoa you have just been through some things like it has been a couple seasons for you right it has really been we've had eclipse season we've had that going on then we had Mars doing some retrograding I mean it's just really been a time for you even the Mercury retrograde would have done something serious as it was retrograde in Leo just opposite so in your partnership energy um, I will tell you one of the things that I acknowledge for you guys is that through the eclipse season and the retrograde season you were definitely faced with some loss right like you were definitely put in a position where people places and things fell out of your life and it probably dropped your confidence um, a lot or it made you really reflect and need to reevaluate what you want going forward and the strategy you've been using to get there now the other thing that I think that it did bring into your life and it also gets solidified this month is probably um, new people places and things of course but a willingness to have a different more vulnerable intimate relationship with these people whether or not it's a romantic partner or a friend or a mentor or somebody who you've had to almost lean into what they have to say or lean into what they're talking about to consider their perspective in order to move forward so those new relationships and that new level of participating in the world is nothing to turn your nose up at i mean it took you a lot to get there but now that you are there you can really take advantage and use that especially because this month the personal planets heck we've even got Saturn and Pluto coming direct but everybody's facing forward so where I think that this news gets really delicious for you as well will start to be in conversations you've been having in your career around your money and things like that so let's jump on in here and let's talk this through okay at the beginning of the month, we've got Mercury moving into Virgo, joining the sun. So this puts a lot of light, heat, life, vitality, thought process. Mercury in Virgo, which is already a Mercurian energy, is going to get detailed, going to get meticulous. So this is, gives me cause to say, relook at your finances. Where do you need to be detailed? Where do you need new organization around your finances, your financial ties that you have, financial aids, loans, taxes, um, a partner and their money. Maybe you're getting an inheritance or you got one and you need to really be looking at that. Whatever it is, I would tell you, get your finances, get your budget back in alignment as well. The eighth house is no joke. It's no small place. Where are you at in your beliefs around intimacy? right where are you at in your fears of actually being alone or never where where is all of that right any of the fears that you have around romance around actually committing actually being deeply ingrained with another person place or thing where are these coming up now to the other tune um the eighth house with mercury here is phenomenal if you happen to be a tarot reader astrologer teacher psychologist sexual therapist this is a wonderful energy for you to be working with very focused very detailed and you're shining bright here not to mention we've also got on the ninth a new moon happening in this particular portion of your chart as well in the eighth house and this is a beautiful energy because it's in a sextile energy Jupiter and Pluto are sextiling here which makes it nice this is a nice friendly warm new moon for you to plant these new seeds of intention to begin something new let's start something new in this eighth house did you just take a new job did you finally hear back from them they're ready to have you as an employee you're on board did you start your own thing and now it's time to really get in and invest yourself in being here so lots of new beginning energy on the sixth I want to back up for just a minute because Saturn our big daddy mature energy is going to be coming out of retrograde and coming direct in the sign of Capricorn now this is going to back up your 12th house right but in the 12th house space what Saturn's been asking you to do is to clean out, clean house. There are some beliefs you don't need anymore. There are some hurts. There are some things that it is time to shed those leaves. Let them go. We're moving towards the autumn equinox. Let them go, right? Let's shut the door on them. I will tell you too, with um, Saturn here, in uh, the 12th house space, anything having to do with escaping kind of behavior, delusional beliefs, addictions, um, any of those kinds of things, Saturn is asking you to grow. He's saying, hey, I need you to grow. We need a more mature perspective around this. We need some different action. And most importantly, what we need to do in this 12th house, which is the place where we end things, we transition, we hide from things. We do a lot in the 12th house. I need you to be honest about what's going on. That's what Saturn's asking you to do. So what do you need to get honest about in that quiet section? Are you really creative and you've really not been living that? 
right? Because like, that's also one of them. It's not always just doom and gloom. It's where are you not showing up, right? The last thing I will tell you about this 12th house energy with Saturn here is one thing I would consider is where you're maybe, um, where do you need to adjust with maybe a, a parent or someone elderly in your life or older than you in your life um, and with children, right? So if there's some kind of disconnect between you and one of those age groups, definitely tune in and see what we can find out there, okay? On the same day on the 9th, though, that we're having that new moon in Virgo, we've also got Venus joining um, Jupiter in Scorpio. Now, this is great because it's the tip top of your chart, Aquarius. You've been looking for work. You've been unemployed for six months. This is a phenomenal energy. It is a set up to get you in a position, right? It's a set up to get you back in the working force or for you to go, oh, hey, I saw what my new strategy needs to be. I see what I need to do to get myself out there and prepare to get the job. Now remember, the job section is not just about your career. It's about your reputation. If you are retired, it's about what you're out in the world doing because every single one of us has a job assignment. We have something we're supposed to be doing, even if it's just being good to other people and helping them learn. So you could be a volunteer. You could be retired, but still giving your time in some way. You could be a stay-at-home parent. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't have just to do with a corporate career, but what what you are taking into the world with your talents and giving away. So at the tip top of your chart here, we've got the benefic planets, little one Venus, big one Jupiter here, lighting this up. And it may be kind of a mystery which job comes to you as a matter of fact. So keep me posted on that for sure, okay? Now on the 11th, excuse me, the 10th, we've got Mars moving into your sign, into Aquarius. So if you've been feeling like, oh my gosh, can we just move forward? Yes, you can. Now remember an arrow has to be pulled back before it can shoot forward. And that is exactly a lot of what's been happening with you. But now you've got that Mars energy to walk you forward. There you go. Get your libido, your energy, your assertion, your passion, your aggression. Go forward. Initiate some movement in your life. Get you out there. We've got to see you so we can get you the job, the career, the romance in your life, right? And Mars in your sign actually makes you very sexy. So you have a little bit of appeal going on to you as well. Now, the one or two days that I kind of want to put on your radar, the 17th and 18th of this month. And it's because Mars, who is not only a warring planet, but also in your sign right now, is going to come into a square with Uranus, who's over in Taurus. Okay, now this is a warring, um, chaotic... Um, disruptive collision kind of energy. What it's meant to do ultimately, just like any square, is to put you under enough pressure that you take a brand new action to get out of the square, right? So it's an action crisis oriented energy. Now what can happen here is because you've got Mars working over here in your sign, so in the first house, and you've got Uranus working over here in the fourth house, you could be seeing some issues coming around your home or domestic zone, right? You could be having some issues with family or your house housing or your foundational level beliefs are now smashing um, into who you believe or have believed that you are. But whatever it is, your job here is not to lose your tacos. Don't go freak out. Don't, don't, don't go take some super disruptive action that's going to compromise you, your reputation, and your heart. Instead, use this energy to break free. Respond differently. Respond innovatively. Respond creatively to whatever challenge presents itself at this time because this is a disruptive energy. But sometimes we got to have a breakdown and have a breakthrough. You know what I'm saying? So it's really not a bad energy energy, but something or someone could definitely be coming for you and you want to respond well. On the 22nd, we've got the sun moving into Libra because we're starting the autumn equinox, a whole new season. See, look, fresh start energy is just everywhere. It's just washing over us. And I love it. I saw this meme that said, the trees are about to show us what it means to to still be good and to let go, right? And I'm like, yes, let go, let go, let go. We're moving into autumn. Let your leaves fall. You had some things that were just here for a season. Let that ish go. We need to get on seeing about what these new roots and branches have to offer us, right? On the 24th, we've got a full moon happening in Aries. This is going to be in your third house. Now, a couple things. It's got a heavy Saturn energy, so kind of grounding, but the full moon says that something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So we've got a shift happening. 
happening here. So one of the things that could be different here is the way you're communicating, the way you're presenting yourself, the way you're sharing information, um, even your thought process on things, right? Now the other thing that I think of in this zone is that um, things are coming to an ending. Maybe you've got a contract that's ending or, or a contract that is going to be brand new in your life. Maybe you're signing on to work that job. Maybe you've been I don't know, waiting for housing, and that's where you were feeling some of the disruptive energy and the contract is ready. Um, maybe you've been trying to sell something, a house, a car, or buy something, and everything's kind of coming to culmination at this time. That could definitely be um, an energy that you're working with. So really nice kind of energy, I think, to work with, especially as we get ready to end the month. Now, on the 30th, we've got Pluto now coming out of retrograde as well, going to be direct. Also here in Capricorn in your 12th house, and Pluto says, all right, Aquarius, the old you, you have had five months to work on everything I've shown you. It is time for that old you to die off. These old beliefs, we don't need them. These old hurts, these old harms, we don't need them anymore. It's time for them to die off so that a new version of you can live. And this is really, Pluto in the 12th house is the epitome of a spiritual awakening. You get to see the world through a new pair of glasses, right? Fresh eyes. And that's what we need from the quietest depth of these spaces that we have where we walk between the worlds, where we're human and spirit at the same time. When we can connect to a fresh new experience like that with a new perspective, it's a game changer for your whole entire life and your spirituality. So beautiful energy this month. I think the career gets an opportunity to get back on board, which I know is something you might have been ready to have coming your direction. And please, again, keep in mind that career is not just a corporate thing, but it's you moving forward forward out into the world, okay? All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Please let me know what's going on, what's going down for you, what changes are happening, what's the new stuff that's coming up for you. If you need a reading, come see me at stormygrace.com. And if you need nothing or you just showed up to enjoy the video, thank you so much for spending some time with me uh, this month, okay? And I will see you next month, all right?